Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is me, it is the Ranting Reviewer. Welcome, we are going to talk about Monday Night Raw from the 4th of April, or the 13th of April. Here we go. So, we kick it off, we're in London. I don't know if it's a sellout crowd, don't ask me, but the crowd was fucking crazy. We start off with Bad News Barrett versus John Cena for the WWE, uh, WWE United States title. And it went for about over 10 minutes. It was a pretty decent match. <laughs> of course, we all know who won this match. Fucking John Cena. Hey, I'm Super Cena. I'm just going to do my five moves of doom. And I'm just going to win the match. Why do you have to win every match, Cena? Why do you have to win every match? I mean, can't you just, you know, let Barrett go over considering we're in Britain? Hello? Anyway, next, uh, after that, Rusev comes out, attacks Cena, lays him out with a chain. Thus setting up the Russian chain match. Oh, boy. What did he fucking do? I swear. Meh. I don't care. Rusev already lost. So what's the difference? He lost at Mania. So, what does it care? The push, it was building, building, lost. So why are we still continuing? <sighs> Next, we get replaced from last night's Raw, or last week's Raw. I don't even remember because I didn't watch it. Uh, I don't follow Raw too much, but I'm a casual viewer. Um, it's not that bad, though. We'll see. Then we get the next match. Cesaro versus Orton and Dolph Ziggler versus Seth Rollins are announced. This was a little promo package, whatever, that was announced. And, um, yeah. So we switched everything. Um, Paige won a Divas Battle Royal quickly. <laughs> uh, then she cut a promo after the match, but Naomi turned on her and laid her the fuck out. Brie Bella was on commentary, but not in the match. Well, they're trying to turn, I think they tried to turn Naomi heel, and it doesn't work. I don't believe her. I just think she's a bitch. Mm. So then Bray Wyatt comes out, and here we go. Big fucking cryptic message again. And, um, well, he got a big ovation at least. Well, because people like him. Bray Wyatt is a good character. Do do I do I feel like I should see him come out every week and do a promo? If he's fighting somebody at the pay-per-view. If he fights somebody at this month's uh, at, at Extreme Rules, I'll be understandable for that. If not, what's the fucking point? He's just going to come out and cut another promo, and then another promo, and then another promo. Then the Lucha Dragons uh, beat the Ascension. <laughs> oh, I love it when the Ascension was built up to be like the Road Warriors. Then they got their ass obliterated by all the legends and JBL. And then now they're jobbing out to the Lucha Dragons because the Lucha Dragons are good. That fuck, not Sin Cara, the other guy, Mystica. He's a fucking beast. He's a fucking beast. Just saying. Um, good match, though. Not bad. Most of the matches so far, there was only one other match, so. Besides the Battle Royal, but I ain't saying shit. It's a Divas match. What do you expect? Uh, the Divas match was okay. But. They don't put enough emphasis on the wrestling. Uh, Roman Reigns gets interviewed by Booker T. Yeah, and it was met with Suplex City bitch chance, I believe. And then interrupted by Big Show. Chokes land him on top of one of the taxis. I shit you not. I heard the choke slam on the WWE YouTube channel in a replay. And I was like, holy fuck, did that guy's back break or something? I shit you not, I thought the fucking guy was broken in half.
Orton and Cesaro was next. Um, Orton won by TQ in around two minutes when Kid interfered. So King came out and restarted the match. Then it was a handicap match. If Orton loses, he's no longer one number one contender. But if he wins, he gets it back. He did an RKO. RKO out of nowhere! We all knew Orton was going to win, people. Didn't hope that the spoilers came out because they're in England and we're over here and they're on a delay. But I digress. I kind of knew that stipulation, but I didn't know the next one. So we had Adam Rose versus Dean Ambrose. And obviously, Adam Rose is not going to win because he is a jobber. Um, the Bunny has won more matches than him. So. The Bunny. Think about this. The fucking Bunny. One more fucking matches than fucking Adam Rose. Right? We did all the vignette stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. And where's he at now? He's mid card jobber. No, no upset. <sighs> Then there's a Kane and Big Show segment. Rollins doesn't want to face Ziggler, so it's Kane versus Rollins. Then we get... Now, this is where I stayed for the rest of the show and watched. Right? It was Stardust versus Fandango. And uh, Stardust won another quick match. But Fandango danced to his old theme song. And it was so refreshing because I was like, You're not a tango dancer. Rosa Mendez cannot dance either. Move back to where you were. And the crowd's like, I thought it was awesome. So. But if I had to. Check out the mat. Check out that little spot. It was just fucking priceless. So, I can't complain. Oh, this tablet. I'm reading the results because I'm trying to remember. The, I remember the matches. I just want to get the order right. And I'm eating dinner at the same time, so I apologize if you see me eating food. I'm not being rude, just eating food. Come on, drop the keyboard, please. Thank you. Almost there. There we go. Then. Well, we got um, Seth Rollins and Kane, right? And I shit you not, Kane's a pussy. Kane's a fucking pussy. He laid down to Seth Rollins. Not at, not before a big fucking choke slam. Laid him the fuck out. Then we had Damian Sandow. Beat the Miz. I'm sorry, Miz down. Right? He got the girl, baby. He got Summer Rae. Uh, uh. Summer Rae. Summer Rae. No, but he got Summer Rae. Fucking awesome. And then we had a primetime players video package where they're making fun of Los Matadores. They're called Los Matadores. It was fucking awesome. Then, uh, right back... Uh, defeated Luke Herbert by disqualification. You know, you got fucking Dean Ambrose running out. Like, attacking fucking Luke Harper. And Luke Harper running like a little bitch. Uh, then we had Dolph Ziggler versus Neville in a spectacular match. Like, we're talking the whole thing was great. There was a spot where he's doing, where Neville's doing a balancing act. And did a 450 off the fucking barricade. This is a match, a must-see Fucking watch it. That match, match of the night, moment of the night, everything about it was great. And then we had the last part, the main event segment is Rollins and uh, Orton. And they're picking their stipulations. 
Rollins obviously is being the cocky heel and sitting in his lounge chair. Lounge chair. And uh, he picks that the RKO is banned. Orton picks a steel cage. Bam. You're fucking set. Um, my favorite moments of the night was, I think, Damian Sandow beating The Miz. Right? It was Damian Sandow beating The Miz. And uh, the Adrian Neville Dolph Ziggler match. If that's the only thing I think is redeemably good about this whole show, everything else is a piece of shit. It, it was. It was, well, okay, it was average with a couple of bad moments, like the Divas Battle Royale. I gave complete two shits about, you know, but it is what it is. Um, obviously, yeah. So the show overall got about a C plus. The only thing that's keeping it from being like a flat C minus was the Adrian Neville and the Damian Sandow moment. Other than that, it's basically a solid C-plus show. Basically, which means it's a little bit above average. But nothing more, nothing less. Um, we get a little bit more NXT, guys. I wish there was more NXT on there. Maybe have, like, the first half hour be, like, an NXT spotlight. Give, like, two NXT matches in the beginning. Maybe for the first hour. Give, give like, the rookies a chance. Or give some people in the local scene uh, some time to spotlight. If you ever watched uh, Beyond the Mat, they did that uh, for Heat. Why don't you just put some people on there? You know, that could work. That really could work. And it'll give these fresh young faces meaning. But that's WWE. That's up for WWE to decide. So, anyway, this is the Ranting Reviewer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, like, and subscribe down below. And I hope you guys will join me again as we go and rant and review every single thing I can in the world. Alright? Thank you guys very much. You have a great day.